Today I've been thinking about all the different skills artists have and in particular I was thinking about printmaking because I am so not a printmaker. Um, I, I sat down and I wrote down all the different types of printmaking um, I think I've got in the gallery. I've got etching, aquatint, lithography, silk screen, uh, lino cut, wood cut, engraving, carborundum, collagraph, monotype, spit bite, mezzotint, sugar lift, dry point, sheen collet, and definitely multiples of all of those things. And if you've ever watched a printmaking video, I can't actually get my head round how much effort um, goes into the processes involved because it's very physical, it's very labour intensive, and yet printmaking I think is um, often really undervalued because people go, oh, it's just a print, and I'm like, well, kind of printing is the process. I, I don't see why that is so value laden. The the point is, it's a very process heavy work because the idea is you make you know more than one copy once you've gone to all that effort if you only printed one image um you'd be charging more than a painting because the labor involved is um is such a lot um but when i talk to printmakers the reason they do it is because they enjoy the process they enjoy the fact that they you know there's a system they need to go through and they say no matter how controlled it is there's always a surprise which you know I think if I went through all those processes I might be a bit annoyed by um, the surprise and of course the other thing is people often forget with original printmaking um, it's backwards as in of course because you make a plate and then you put your paper on top you put it through a bed press and then the paper lifts the inked image from the plate and so, of course, it's the other way around, you know. Um, offset lithography is the way of reproducing things um, as they are seen. But artistic printmaking is something very different. There's a lot of labour in um, creating silk screens and cleaning the silk screen beds. There's a lot of, uh, of labour with all forms of etching and engraving and silk screen and lithography and lino cut and reduction lino cut. There's so many things to think about. I actually think you have to have a particular, I think you have to have a printmaker's brain to be able to be a printmaker. I always joke that I'm, I'm, um, I'm a painter because I'm too much of a control freak. Um, and I, I just can't get my head round the fact that I have to do something in a certain process and it might not turn out how I want it to <laughs> I mean it's um I'm I can't say I'm a successful painter as in things always turn out how I want them to but I feel it's much more direct I I feel that um printmaking is a is a completely different art I mean for me it feels like a dark art um but it's extraordinary and I would encourage you to go and look up um videos that exist online and on particular uh, artists uh, web pages just to see how much effort and skill goes into all these different um, types of printmaking uh, it's fantastic i'm um i'm always impressed and um i hope they carry on doing what they do and the last thing i would i would end on is remember um Artist printmakers are printmakers because they cannot get that image um, by using any other method. And so it is an artwork. It's not a copy. It's not a reproduction. It's an artwork in its own right. So come and enjoy.